Hey, what's happening guys? It's Eric with the Hotbox Pizza Truck. And uh, we're going to try out Belgioso's Whole Milk Low Moisture Mozzarella Platinum. Crowley made in Wisconsin. I talked to you guys the other day about my whole uh, cheese bait and switch. And because I wasn't able to uh, get the cheese I normally get, I went ahead and picked up this because I use uh, the mozzarella balls that I use are Belgio so and uh, they make good stuff good products the color was the same as the cheese I like and so far the firmness when you cut through it is about the same when you cut through that one I don't like it's just a really really soft mozzarella but uh, so we're going to give a little review of this. I'll shred up, I'll shred this block up and um, when I make a pizza today I'll pull the camera back out and do a little filming. But yeah, just I like the firmness of it already. We won't know until it goes into the oven and cooks, but uh, so far, I don't know guys, I think I'm going to like it. Yeah, I really do. I think I'm going to like it. Whoa! Look out now. So I know, you know, maybe you guys don't shop at the same places, but Belgioso is a, is a big name brand. And maybe you'll be able to get the cheese as well. It was, uh, I think it was about 50 cents more a pound than the other stuff I, I use, but tough times, desperate times call for desperate measures. You got to pay to play. You don't want to be throwing out some garbage pizzas for, you know, 50 cents a pound uh, difference on your cheese. So either way, guys, I'm going to shred this block up. Um, we'll give it a try in a little bit and we'll see what happens. Talk to you soon. What's happening, guys? It's Eric with the Hotbox Pizza Truck. We got a... Uh, four pizza order, all nine inch pies, oven's hot, we got, uh, now we'll see if we can get this video done, it's Friday, We've got a couple pies being picked up, someone pulling up now, let me hit you guys up, see if we can make it happen, so anyhow we got five pies, four pie order here, all nines. Go ahead and stretch them out first real quick. Uh, working with that Belgioso cheese right now, I've already done a few pies with it. Um, seems to be okay. It's not separating yet. We did a cheese pie, a meat pie, and a uh, barbecue chicken. The barbecue chicken pie is always, uh, I don't know if the sauce is what gets so hot or what, or the, the sugar in it, but the cheese always browns up quite a bit on the um, barbecue chickens. See, I don't get my thumb all the way out to the end there. And my fingers are not, not smashing the edge. But the, uh, again, the barbecue chicken, like I was saying, they always seem to brown up quite a bit on the cheese. Um, the cheese pizza, it, it seemed to look normal. It wasn't my uh, most wonderful, beautiful cheese pizza of all time, but it was definitely a nice little pizza. And then uh, the barbecue chicken, or I'm sorry, the meat pizza I did, I did notice a little bit more browning than normal on the cheese, but it could be manufactured date too. You know, you get something that's been on the shelf a few weeks and it's starting to, you know, it's not as fresh as when you first got it. You just never know can make a difference but so far so so good i mean it's definitely not uh not like that rubbish cheese all right just had to stop and think there what, what are we doing what order we got going this one's going to be a um hawaiian fire with no banana peppers so 
chicken goes on, cheese goes on, there goes the phone. This is why it's so difficult to do this. All right, guys, hit you back. All right, back to this wine fire. Now, you guys, this is kind of why you understand why. I did that spit words out here. This is why if I'm making one pizza, I tell a customer 10 minutes on a call in order because one, they need some time to get here. And uh, two, you get phone calls, you get customers walking up, you get uh, customers that like to talk at the window. You got to do customer service. So you got to give yourself some time. Yeah, you can make that pizza in, you know, three or four minutes out in a box ready to go, but what good's that going to do if it's just sitting there dying? So when you're running a truck, obviously events are different, man. You just hump and you don't stop. The people are standing there staring at you. But when you're taking phone orders in, you, you know, you got to try to pace yourself in case you have a walk up and, you know, think ahead. And like I say, most of the time, a call in order, the customer is not going to be here in five minutes. So, try to plan your day a little bit. Or not your day, but as you go. Don't jam yourself up. Especially on lunch breaks, be honest with people. Don't say, oh yeah, five minutes and, or it'll, you know, if you're, if you're backed up and you know it's going to be 20 minutes till you can get to their pizza, be honest with them because they're on a lunch break. They'll tell you if they can't do it. No, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm on my lunch break. But I think people will be more, you know, they're happier that you're being honest with them than telling them 10 minutes and you're going to be 20, 25 minutes and now everybody's upset. And that's also a great opportunity if they come to the window and they haven't pre ordered to let them know hey, guys, you know, call ahead on your orders. That way you're not not sitting here waiting. Right. I tell you, uh, the pepperoni pizza I think is going to be the the real telltale on this cheese because that's that seems to be the one that the cheese always likes to separate on, I guess, because of the grease. At least this is what I think. I'm no scientist. I just like to eat and enjoy cooking, and here I am. And a little bit later today, I'm going to do a pizza for my wife and I, and I'll try to videotape that one because that one could be. It's a new pie I want to try. That thing's doing fine just right now in the front. I'm not really sure what you guys are seeing on the video here. Let me see if I can give you another angle too. It looks like it might do something. These are just going to be a couple of cheese pieces. And then after that we've got Three margar uh, two margaritas and I think a pepperoni, I got it written down. Oregano. We need some flame.
the final stretch on this one. Just not hot enough right now. We will be in about three minutes when all this wood just really gets going. But that's a beautiful pie. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good, Good man. Yeah, five days a week. It's a tough gig. What's that? You got about 20 minute wait. But yeah, get you whatever you'd like. I'm not uh, happy to make business yet. Anyways. Cool, man. What do you want? Uh, yep. So pepperoni, pineapple, double cheese? Yep. You got it, man. Knock it out for you. Alright. See you in a few. Okay. See what I'm saying, guys? Oh, how did I miss a right now? You get to be like, I just need a few more arms. If I was an octopus. Get this cheese in there. Put the gloves around a little bit. Show you guys again. Have another video or something where I show you the cheese, but because uh, I'm I'm running at the moment, but it's holding up. It's not looking bad. Get this final cheese pizza in there, and then. Once you get them in the oven, too, you can really get after working them and speed up your cook time, too, by getting them where they need to be instead of letting them hang out. But letting them hang out when you're trying to dress the other pies is your, your best friend. Let's get that one deep in there. Florida, it's already getting hot, boys and girls. Yeah, we definitely need more flame and more heat. Take a quick look. Customers pulling up for these. 
Oh, good looking little pie. Alright guys, gotta run. What's up guys, Derek with the Hotbox Pizza Truck. Wanted to, uh, I almost forgot to film this for you. Trying a new pizza today. I do a uh, spinach chicken ranch that's really popular. And uh, at home, my wife and I, uh, always do grilled chicken. And uh, I throw a couple pieces of bacon on the grill. And uh, and then I uh, throw some bread up on the grill and toast it at home. And we do uh, chicken bacon avocado sandwiches. So why not a chicken bacon avocado ranch pizza? So we'll try uh, half a fresh avocado cut up. Which looks like it's going to be probably just about the perfect amount. I can that away from me. Alright, I think that'll probably be good. Then we'll keep it simple. Ranch, fresh chicken. Make sure we use this new uh, cheese and give this a try on how this melts on here. I think it's going to be great. It's been performing well all morning. I just want to give it a taste myself and see where we're at with it. A little bit of bacon. And then I got a pizza to make for my little boy and my little girl, Gracie and Colton which is pretty much uh, sauce and just the tiniest little bit of cheese is all they want. So that's it. I'm going to keep this one simple. And I think it's going to be delicious. I think the avocados are going to make it a nice little pie. Been slammed today. I got, uh, I've been videoing as much as I can. I got a bunch of little stuff. I just got to try to put it all together for you and get it uploaded. It's uh, uploading it that, that takes forever. Especially in my truck, man. It's it, the craziest thing. First thing in the morning, I have absolutely amazing internet connection. But then as the day goes on, um, I don't know what the story is. It, it's, uh, it's sad to say the least. So let's get that in the oven. Man, I, I did that four pie order this morning. I'm going to try to upload that for you guys. And then I had that walk up. I ended up by bumping that small pepperoni double cheese with... What else did he have on that? With pineapple. I ended up by bumping him before those two large margaritas and the um, pepperoni that I did. But man, talk about just a completely different oven from... Um, they like a lot of sauce. And the tiniest little bit of cheese there. They're not big cheese, well, sissy is, brother's not. But it was a completely different oven just after, you know, 10 minutes later. That oven finally, the, the fire got going real nice, was throwing off a nice flame. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. I struggled on those first four, I'm trying to hump them along. Get them in the hot spots, you know, I couldn't get that flame going like I wanted to. And the next thing you know, we were straight out rolling and putting out some beautiful pizzas. So, not that the other ones didn't come out beautiful, but you know what I'm saying. Alright, and this stand is being a real pain in the butt too. Going to put it in the dome some more, but I don't know. I think we're going to be okay. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. We'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, there's the finished product. Bacon Avocado Ranch. She doesn't want to focus.
There you go. That cheese is looking good. It's not separating. Separating. And I think it's going to be all right. Still go back to the other cheese because of the price, but uh, this is a good cheese if I'm in if I'm in trouble. I'll let you guys know how this tastes. Talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to recap with you on the uh, Belgioso Platinum Cheese. Forming great. It's a good cheese. Uh, it's melting well, it tastes great. That bacon avocado ranch pizza was right on point. You, uh, you get into that avocado and it's just so creamy. Really, really good. So I'm going to take uh, just all the little clips and the different orders I've been working through today. Uh, I think it was just a couple different orders, but on and off, on and off. It, it, busy day, shutting the phone off and dropping it, whatever else. You know how it goes. So I'm going to piece them all together, but... The Belgioso cheese, I approve a little bit more than the other cheese on cost, comparable. Um, I love their mozzarella balls, so Belgioso, I'll rep all your stuff. I'll, I'll do nothing but Belgioso cheese, just hook it up, man. We'll, uh, you know, put the logo on the side of the truck, give me great deals on cheese. Kidding. You guys want the big boys, I'm just a little guy. I appreciate you guys watching. If you love what I do, like what I'm doing, subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. God bless you guys.